I would have thought that they would go for something like the Atlas, but because of the Cho pickup, their only source of damage in that AoE to strengthen them in the team fight would be X Borg and his ultimate. All right, with that being said, we're going to take a sneak peek. All right, so Irithel still goes for sprint. So the only Purify from the side of Alter Ego is Udil. And from Onik, we have CW and Sans. They're both on the Purify. We can talk about it in just a moment as we welcome you into the Land of Dawn for game number one. The yellow porcupines and the three-face mask. And already, we're given some pressure from the side of Alter Ego. Wow, peep the four quantum charges. There you go. It's going to be very tough for Rossi to really connect that wave dragon. Definitely. I think the, the quantum charges here shows you that Onik wants to get in and out of these team fights. They don't want to just fully commit into a, an initiation. They want to bait out some of these resources like we've seen even just in game or match number one earlier. Baiting, fainting, and baiting out these resources. Rossi, Pai, Nino, even Udo. Everyone on the side of Alter Ego. When the resources are depleted, it's going to be very, very tough. So is Onik, but again, that quantum charge gives them more room to do so. There's a similarity in the way that they want to go about it. Like you mentioned, right? The in and outs. And Alter Ego, you can see kind of the same thing. They want to be able to prolong the team fights and stay in these team fights with sustain. And again, Udil on a Valentina picking up Festival of Blood. Very interesting. Again, he's one of the only mid laners, I think, to always utilize this particular talent when he plays the mages. Let's see if it does come to fruition. So, for now, it's going to be really slow at the start. But there's already a gank here for Naga Armor, still intact. Oh, will. Kai not for just yet as well. Kai Rida, health HP. It seems like now, Onik and Alter Ego, they will shift their focus towards that first neutral objective take. Spell-wise, nothing is disarmed, so they're all good. It's fair game. Fair game, but not too fair for Alter Ego, because if we take a look at the fun fact here by Grab, we can see that this particular lineup is still sitting at a 100% win rate. Not losing a single match so far, but here it is. Black Dragon Form popped. Rossi, half HP taunted as well. Sounds though, will try to pull him back. Shampoo to the rescue. Kari finds a retry pie now. Will not be able to find the last insanity. Odil though, will be isolated and caught. He will be taken down as Onik finds two kills and the turtle. I really want to ask a question here, Mirko. Before that team fight, before they all centered around the turtle, most of them were already level four. Is that, how is that possible? They've just been managing these waves super properly. As you can see, Boots and Keyboy, they always rotate towards that XP lane, getting more of that XP. And even for Sans, that was the case. They always clear out these waves before the setup. Meanwhile, Alter Ego were more concerned of actually getting the position instead of the levels. That's why they were a level down, and that's why they lost the resource battle that Onik ultimately were able to capitalize on. I think that's intelligent, right? Because like the entire point of the latest patch about the first turtle is that particular fact, right? You go in with zero resources, but Onik were, were able to find a way, find an opportunity to make it work. The town's prediction is a two versus everybody. Not too surprised with Mirko's choice here. And looking at the game, Onik being able to win that all in, will that pave their way for succession in that mid power spike? For sure, it's definitely going to enable them to do much more now on the map. Especially on a hero like a Kufra, when you have more map pressure, it gives you so much more space. And the thing is, for Alter Ego's composition, the Baksha, you need to look for that snowball. So if this continues, oh, Kairi with a taunt. Good taunt on Turin's Nino. He popped the heavy crossbow already. It seems like Keyboy will not find the revenge just yet. Rossi pulled back. Good taunt as well. It seems like Rossi will have enough resource to back away. No. Clear engages more, but wow, what a kite uh, fight. Yeah, and again, like we mentioned, right? That's what Onik are looking for in every single one of these skirmishes. Good poke down below from CW. This is what he needs to utilize on the Claude. That blazing duet, once you get it, you just spam it to clear waves at the poke. Boy, it will be taken down first by Pi. Halt Alter popped as well. That is not a good sign, pre turtle. Alter Ego grabbing more space here to control the neutral objective. Pi though, oh, last insanity will not be available now as it has no armor. Take a look, Rassi finding one good way of dragon, but the boots with the black dragon form will be able to find some space. 
to recollect. Rossi quite low. Onik will not force a fight just yet. Kriboy, though, will join the fight as soon as possible. Let's see. Retribution battle. Sally Boy, no mana, and it seems like Kyrie will not be able to secure this turtle this time. Good retry by Sally Boy. And the pressure was on Alter Ego to get that turtle. If Alter Ego didn't get that, if Onik were somehow able to steal it with Kyrie's brilliant retry, then it would have been a disaster. Again, pointing this out, Sally Boy Bakja needs to be ahead of the Fredren. Right now, Kyrie is still holding on to that lead, though it's already kind of neutralized a bit with that turtle take. Yeah, I was wondering how they were even able to make that possible, right? Because Alter Ego, with picking out Keyboy first, there would be no engage whatsoever onto Selly Boy. And then they were able to take the other members around of that turtle really low. If Onik were able to turn that around, that would have been completely disastrous. As once again, like you mentioned here, Kyrie already level 9, so there is still a EXP. Oh, wait a minute, Keyboy. Blazing the wet, no real damage just yet though. Selly Boy now will tank most of the damage. Gets on it, still soak in damage. Onik will not commit on towards. There was a very interesting audience prediction earlier that you saw it was 52 to 48 percent. So it was really close. You don't expect this usually for an Onyx game, but maybe after the few losses that Onyx took, a lot of people have lost some trust to them. Let's take a look at the items though. Claude in the lead, 500 gold against the Irithel, but this is just a very, very small gold lead. He is still mounting up to that item power spike. The DHS and the Golden Staff now secured. Should be going for the Corrosion Scythe next. Meanwhile, it's already the Berserker's Fury getting worked on by Nino as he already picked up the Wind Talker. And it's also the three item power spike for Nino on the Irithel. So it's all about getting to that three item power spike. Who is going to get it first? But do you not think that Alter Ego is kind of at a disadvantage? Is CW not already strong with two of those items already in these team fights? He's strong, but it'll be harder for him to dish out damage compared to Nino, who can just basic attack. Kimoy with the rage, Faraga armor still intact. Retribution battle this time will go to the hands of Kyrie. Last Insanity will be part Black Dragon form as well, as Keyboy will receive the Wave Dragon and will be taken down by Nino. Take a look at Pai, will burn Kyrie here. That is very low with his backside. Udil and Rossi gets taken out. Take a look at Pai and Sully Boy now trying to escape as CW is ready with those two items you mentioned here. It seems like Nino will go back to the bottom side. And that was a huge dub for Onik. I loved how CW decided to utilize that blazing duet. He used it at the right time. He saw the positioning coming in from Nino. He knows that Nino doesn't have one just yet. So he goes in for some damage onto Nino. And the fact of the matter is, get Nino low enough at this point of the game, basically you render him useless because he can't re-engage into the fight. And then he's able to dish out the damage on the other members. Here, we'll see it all pan out again. Yeah, and in this highlight, I think the, the number one thing that we need to talk about is that retribution because that is the main win condition for both of these teams right now. It's about securing those neutral objectives because the team fights will just come through because of that take. Alter Ego, they lost it and they forced a fight. That's why they lost the team fight ultimately. And now it's another pickoff. Oh, they're going all in for Silly Boy here, who he can still tank. Take a look at the Wave Dragon on towards Hans, as Rossi, though, will be the first one to fall, basing the wet. And the back side, Udil gets taken out. Silly Boy will be going down next. Let's take a look at Pi here, isolated, forced to use the last insanity to try to survive a little bit more, as it seems like Onik will not be able to dish out the damage. It's going to be three members taking out Onik, 2,000 gold lead. Beautiful. In nine minutes, mind you, Onik just being that force that we know and love about them, especially with this lineup. Everyone is getting shot down here. And you mentioned, right, with Alter Ego severely needing that snowball situation in this early game, when they're on the behind like this, what are they supposed to do at this point? Well, now do they, they contest? No. I don't think they contest. Well, technically, they still have a composition to contest. This is a composition built for team fight. But it does get scary when Onik have hit their power spike and Alter Ego are still quite far. Berserker's Fury is done for Nino, but he's still a long way from getting that third item 
for that power spike. Meanwhile, for CW, he has the Corrosion Scythe, and now it gets really, really bad for Alter Ego. Even Kyrie, one level ahead of Selly Boy. So he's been winning in these 50-50s, now two levels ahead. It's going to be more of a 60-40 or even a 70-30. Oh, Wait. CW caught low. Cole Alter will be popped now. That was a little bit close for comfort. Take a look at Boots, though. Top side, looking for an angle to pop that black dragon form. All he needs is just info. And with that in mind, it seems like Alter Ego, they do not have the confidence here to really commit to their lord. I don't think they want to, right? Rossi was lagging a little bit behind. I think he was forced a recall. And so they need that setup coming in. They needed to be able to disable Kairi when they go for that 50-50. Because if they do it without it, Kairi surely should win here. But look at this. Way of Dragon onto his boots. Fierce dive just to give space. Awesome Saturday now will secure the kill. Odell half HP pop the call altered stole that was stolen. It seems like Keyboy still holding on in that front side. CW hasn't really joined, but it seems like Pi will lose his mortality. CW now joining the fight in the Lord area. Rossi quite low, but it seems like he's confident enough to wow. join the fray, but Kyrie finds the retry. How in the world does he still get that retry? Going on after all that? Sally Boy was already going in with the Wheel of Death, and yet still unable to hack it, and nobody, again, was able to disable Kyrie in that fight. That spatial awareness from Kyrie, man. You gotta give props to the man. He always surprises us, even on a pick as, like, a Fredrin. Not flashy at all, but he can make it flashy. The maneuvers that he's able to take, the, the roots as well, around the Lord to evade from the poke and the pickoffs from Alter Ego while also simultaneously granting him some space to get a position to 50-50. And, and remember, it wasn't a 50-50 if it is Kyrie and Selly Boy face-to-face, -face, it's 70-30. Selly Boy is two levels below. And even in the normal 50-50s, Kyrie wins it. It's tough. It's tough. And here, you can already see Onik. I think Sans was also a huge factor in those teams, right? In the team fights because of that damage that you don't necessarily see, but you feel it once you're low enough. And the fact that he's already picked up yet another damage item in that Holy Crystal for oh. more magic power. Rossi, he gets away for now, still able to kite away, but that is a resource wasted. He utilized that Conceal just to escape. And the Flicker as well, that's not a good, good resource spent. The base turret will also be taken out. Alter Ego, they will be committed. This high already jumping in in the front side. Black Dragon form will make Alter Ego disarray. Petrify connected. Alter Ego quite low. It seems like Selly Boy will be the first one to fall. Azonic now 6,000 gold lead. It seems like they are still occupying the base. Good catch by Keyboy. Unfortunately, though, they, they will not have any follow ups. You know, your Pulse, of Nature as well, is able to escape with the Battle Mirror image. It seems like two base turrets will be taken out. That would have ended completely different had Keyboy been able to take Nino, right? Because when he went in with a Tyrant's Rage and Revenge, he only was able to hit onto Pi. Nino was still able to kite away, and the fact is Nino already has Has Claws as well, so it's a little difficult now for Onik. Very difficult. And we gotta, again, take a look at the score. Eight to four. It may look close, but then you take a look at who's been actually taking these deaths, and it's Keyboy and Boots. These are members that need, that actually can die, that they can afford to let go, but Kyrie now, wait. No clear backup. Oh. Rest pop. Kyrie, will he fall this time? Not just yet as Rossi is actually the first one to fall. Kyrie is going to be the trade, but Pi caught as well as CW finding the shutdown and the double. Ten seconds to the next Lord. Onik still in control. Is it worth it though to lose Kyrie right before a Lord fight? I think it's still value for Onik here. Pi was shut down. He got a kill, third kill in the game when he killed Kyrie before he actually died. And that is in turn a shutdown for Onik. It was also a two for one. So it's value. Kyrie bought enough time with the Appraiser's Wrath, connecting onto Nino, getting him a bit more HP to escape. I thought for a second he might have escaped, and now Sunny Boy gets engaged on. Oh, take a look at the damage that CW provides. Butes will secure the kill. Cole Alter was popped a little bit too late there to secure and save Sally Boy. Now without a retray, Onik will 100% here secure the second Lord. It was a bait. It was a bait by Onik. They went on the Lord, realizing that Selly Boy would definitely come down. And now the entire situation reversed. Kyrie back online in perfect timing. And Alter Ego don't have a source of jungle. 
Onik, what is this? Oh my goodness. This is the Onik domination that we have known for a while now. Onik, it seems always as though the games that they play don't look too clean. There are still some deaths here and there, but again, you take a look at the deaths and they keep their carries safe. The guys who take these deaths are the guys who are in the front lines and they're able to balance that out with their carries being up, their carries providing so much more space and so much more uh, pressure on the map that even though you pick up Kyrie, Keyboy, CW and Sans will be able to stop you from going for Lords, stop you from going for neutral objectives. And even in these team fights, it always looks chaotic, but it's always so controlled and so synchronized by this roster of Onik. Let's see the defense indeed. On, on towards Sally Boy. Base turret, last base turret, will be taken out. Alter Ego still hovering around in its base, not going for a fight, but will react if Onik pulls something. Seems like Onik, they will just take it slow though. It's all up to Keyboy, honestly, to look for an end gauge. I think Boots could possibly go for it as well. But the fact that Udil keeps utilizing that cult altar to take away that kill pressure from Boots when he dives in with the black dragon form and his combo spell, it kind of renders that pressure kind of useless at this point, right? They need a little bit more follow-up from Keyboy, who then can immobilize a bit better, and then CW and Sans can dish out the damage. But until then, it's still a far opening here for Onik if they look to, but unless this happens, right? Silly Boy pulled! Oh my god, no teammates! Close enough to take and secure the cover. Wait, Keyboy taken out, burst it down. It's a 4v4 now. Let's say Alter Ego, will they re-engage? Sans is actually quite low. Ooh, Kyrie is able to escape, but Nino jumps in and finds also to grab the kill. Boots in the backside will be kicked by Rossi. Kira's dive will not mount to anything in the backside though. Kyrie quite low as Boots will fall. Kyrie loses him all. Pi actually loses immortality as Pi still gets a kill as well. Alter Ego, what a response. They're a team fighting comp. They can team fight. Onik didn't respect that. They went in a bit too far. They got a good pick off already. They got Selly Boy, the main frontliner, but they decided to go for even more without respecting that Nino has finally hit his item power spike. Nino DHS. has his, not just the DHS, Melfic Roar. He can now shred the frontliners of Onik. And now I think for Onik, they can realize that and they can take it slow again. It is not that big of a disaster. It is a disaster, but it was a disaster that they can recover from. They still have three base turrets down for Alter Ego, and Onik can certainly play with this advantage. Now, if Alter Ego are able to force a fight or somehow look for a cheeky pick on one of these carries, then we have a problem for Onik. All right, let's see how they're going to be able to get it, right? Pai already picking up that Hunter Strike. Does that matter right now before this team fight? I don't think so. I think right there for Pi, it's just an item to give him a bit more utility. Getting more movement speed to kite around and to try to faint at Onik. Oh, Keyboy actually commits again on towards Boy here, pulled back as well. Boy has no immortality as he will be taken down. Boots will secure the kill as no retribution now will Alter Ego collapse and commit the fight. Keyboy will sandbag in the front alongside his Boots. Boots will losing his immortality. Let's see, he called Alter to save the day, pulled back though. Good mechanics there, shown by Pi. Boots taken out. It's still a one for one as Rossi actually is very low in the backside. TW oh. got terrified. No BMI in his kit as Nino will secure the kill. Alter Ego, they are responding. The team fight comp that we keep talking and talking about as Keyboy goes in for Nino. Oh, Nino caught. Retribution secured. Rossi, one HP. And it seems like it is still going to be a two for one. But then again, the yellow porcupine secured the Lord. Yeah, the oh my god, amidst all that chaos, Kyrie was still able to get that Lord. Was it Kyrie? Yeah, it was. It was, right? All right, okay, cool, cool, cool. And that entire thing would have been so backwards had Onik respected once again. CW went in a little bit too deep into that back line and Alter Ego will be able to clear out the sword in no time. Nino just gonna shred through it and they don't get any value for it. 
no value for the Lord, but it's still... Well, yeah, now it gets even more dangerous, but it's still a, a long game for Onik here. They have three base turrets. Again, I can I cannot stress this enough. The three base turrets are enough to keep Alter Ego at bay. Alter Ego cannot make these proactive movements around the map. They can't even control their own jungle because they simply do not have vision. They simply do not have minions pushing in the right lane to get that vision. Taking a look at the items once again. This is the problem for Onik. It's Nino. Nino has full items. And as long as Onik keep using their resources to get Sully Boy, uh, to, to pick him off, then Alter Ego will have all the space in the world to make Nino carry and de deal damage. Did CW pick up this Athena shield before or after that team fight? I think he did it after all the right. team fight. He sold the boots to go for that Athena. He has the win of nature as well. Now he should be, it should just be the juggle of items. For Nino, I think he might have to juggle the, the Haas Claws maybe to an Immortality, but I'm not. Actually, I think maybe some of the other items, maybe the Tough Boots he'll sell for the Immortality later on in the game, or maybe even win in, win in nature. I think that's a lot safer. CW, oh no. Good BMI, but this might spell disaster. Good pull. Selly Boy now has the Immortality. And it seems like with Selly Boy's health bar now, he will retreat. All five members of Alter Ego will not engage on towards the fight. They have to make some desperate moves around the map, like I said, to get back map pressure. The waves are not going to be pushed in a way where it's good for Alter Ego. It's always going to be good for Onik for the most part. There's going to be a very, very small... Um, like a small chance that Alter Ego has the minions at the right place, but then they'll have to make that play right as the minions get to the right place, which is a very small window of opportunity. That's a lot of homework that Alter Ego needs to do because there's always that lingering threat that CW can take the far lane, exactly. especially when we're getting to this point, right? 16 seconds left until the Lord spawns, and then the chess match starts to begin. The brain power starts to be utilized for both of these teams. How are they going to be able to outplay one another? CW can still go for that far lane, but I think Alter Ego, they're anticipating this. And so they did send Nino as well as Rossi to the top side. That's also information for Onyx to utilize. And so it's just the battle of timing here and the battle of who gets that shot call in first. Wow, good bait there. Onyx will know. Whereabouts? Oh, Pi is actually chunking Sans to a good amount of HP. Seems like now, Onik, will they collapse? Odil will claim the mid. Pi, no Viraga armor though, no last insanity. And this time, Alter Ego will not want business. Good offense and defense by both teams. See, that was the window of opportunity. When Alter Ego have the waves pushing into the enemy turret, they're that's where Alter Ego can attack. That's where Alter Ego can force some errors from Onik, where they can take turrets if Onik don't respond. But if Onik respond, then Alter Ego will take a team fight. That is definitely what Alter Ego are looking for now, and definitely not what Onik are looking for. Onik want to, as much as possible, stay away from these team fights. Refrain from team fight. They have the advantage, but if they find a pickoff, they will. See, Sally Boy still has the immortal. Puissance pop, though. Nino and Rossi will synergize in that mid bush. Seems like they are still waiting patiently. Lord, now secured by Kyrie, but it seems like Alter Ego will give vision that Kyrie is somehow poking the Lord down. Not committing just yet though. Far lane is favoring Onyx. And that mid lane was pushing in to Alter Ego. And you can see that Alter Ego are starting to sweat as well. Remember the pressure of this particular match, but Keyboy? Oh, he's trying to chunk the Viraga armor down so that Pi can pop his ult. Good, but it seems like Pi still has the, a small amount of Viraga armor there. And it seems like Alter Ego, they're taking it very, very well as well. Patient game is the name of the game. Patience is key, but I don't think Nino and Rossi is being patient. Look at their movement, Conceal play. Oh, Conceal, good spot there by Keyboy, who was able to cut mid-rotation. Lord, 15,000 HP. Alter Ego, reset. Good, yeah, I reset it as well. Uh, Rossi has not yet committed to a Wave Dragon just yet. Again, both teams here playing it very, very carefully. And this is why the Fredrin is so prior, uh, especially for the jungle. You're able to take the tur t 
uh, the, the Lord aggro so easily, and you can keep it at bay. You can continuously just force this Lord Dance to happen. Key boy, Eternal Revenge not connecting, and Alter Ego decides to pull the trigger. Let's see. BMI in an awkward position. Finding all oh, oh, Alter popped as well. CW now isolated. Black Dragon form though will try to disrupt the movements of Alter Ego. Onik. They are now still strong with five. Kyrie slowed down with Ice Queen's one of Pi. Take a look at Nino there, trying to find an angle. Doesn't really commit though, but Pi actually almost losing all of his Viraga armor now. Oh, there's the collapse, good taunt. Take a look at Udil. Udil quite low suppression, or Winner's Truncheon is there. CW though will find the shutdown. And this is it, Alter Ego. They have been collapsed. Sally Boy next on the top ring rock. We'll lose his mortality as Rossi will be the next one to fall. Sally Boy gets taken down as well, and this is it. It's going to be just Udil and Pi left. Onik, they're not looking for the Lord. They want to end the game. Pi, one HP, still has immortality though. CW does not have enough range as Onik recollects. Onik's trying to clear the wave. Two wave minions pushing. Pi and Udil, they have enough clear here. Black Dragon form pop last insanity as well. Good catch by Keyboy, but it seems like they don't have the range. Udil will have the range as well. Immortality will be lose and Onik Esports, they will strike first in the first game. Meticulous.